We're here with Brookwood Broncos head coach Mark Cruz. Coach, I want to take the time. Uh, thank you for taking the time. I was speaking with Prep Star Stats today. I'm happy to be here. All right. Now, Coach, over the past five years, you had a very successful program of 37 and 18. And this year, you guys are 8 and 1. And now, Benny, what's been the difference this year? Well, so far, we're 7 and 1. We ain't quite, quite got that eighth one yet. But, okay. Uh, we're, uh, <laughs> uh, we're a week behind uh, in, in the schedule because we've already had our off week. So okay. we're 7 and 1. We've got two games left to play. Um, and, you know, I mean, we, we've had a lot of success here over the years, and uh, I think that our kids and our, our neighborhood, our community, and our coaches, okay. and everybody sort of expect to have good football teams. And there's been a lot of hard work going to, to this year, and our kids are responding well, and we're having a great year. Okay. Now, have there been any surprises with any new guys, any transfers coming in? No, well, we don't have any transfers. We got a We've got a, a kid who's really done a great job for us as our kicker. Okay, uh, had never played football before. Okay, and he came in and and uh, kind of kind of recruited him from our soccer uh, community, okay. and and uh, he's doing an outstanding job. Eric Yang. Uh, we've got two tailbacks. One's a sophomore and one's a junior that are. Okay. Uh, one of them's leading the county in in rushing. Uh, Nick Tompkins and uh, you know the sophomore. You never quite know. They move up from the ninth grade team, and right. you know I think his first or second varsity carry was about a 40-yard touchdown run, and he hadn't slowed down much since then. Okay. Uh, so I mean, there's so many ingredients that, that uh, Jamal Cole is the is the sophomore tailback's name, and we got our offensive linemen have continued to get better and better, and uh, we've gotten better and better on defense as the season goes on. So there's just so many ingredients that go into success that you know, it's hard to name the one thing. Right. Now, you guys are facing one of your toughest uh, rivals this week uh, in Grayson. And Coach Collins, he's doing a very good job with those guys down there. When you watch film on them, what sticks out to you when you watch them on them? <laughs> They're big. Okay. They're big. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they, as you said, they do a good job over there. Uh, they've, won the, they've won the last two region championships. As a matter of fact, in the last five years, okay. Brookwood and Grayson have been the only two teams uh, to win our region uh, championship. We won three in a row, and then Grayson's won the last two. Uh, and if um, if things work out uh, kind of the way they are, it's, it looks like maybe one of us might win it again this year. Okay. Um, you know, obviously they've been very successful, and, and uh, Coach Khan does a great job over there. And it ought to be a great football game on Friday night. Absolutely. Now, with this um, time of the season, um, you know, football is a very physical sport. Uh, what's the condition of your team right now? Well, I think always that, you know, success, uh, particularly success that goes deep into the playoffs is uh, not always the best team, but the team that stays the healthiest. You know, you, sure. lose, you lose two or three key players along the way or, or um, you know, get in, get in injury situations which, which really kind of uh, hamstring your team a little bit, I guess. And, and uh, I think that right now, outside of just sort of what we would think are sort of normal, uh, normal, you know, after you've played eight games in our region, sure. in our area, you're going to have some guys that are beat up, banged up a little bit. Absolutely. But we don't have anything right now, knock on wood, that's serious enough to, to uh, keep anybody out of playing. Okay. Now, Coach, um, overall, have, um, have your team perform pretty much how you expect them to this year? Well, I don't know that you ever expect to, to win seven out of eight. You know, you always, uh, you know, you just approach every game uh, as best you can to try to help your kids be as successful as they can in every game. And, you know, generally you sort of look back when you get to December and say, well, you know, I think we just, <laughs> by the time you win one, you start getting ready to, to try to do what you need to do to win the next one Absolutely. and run on that. And, you know, everybody says that's kind of a cliche. You take them one at a time and all that kind of thing. But in our region, if you sit back and kind of rest on your laurels and, and, and gloat about last week, then somebody else will be ready to knock you off next week. So, we, uh, you know, I'm proud of the way our kids have responded and kind of bought into what we're trying to do. And, and um, you know, they're experiencing a lot of success. That's great. Uh, I'm right, yeah, you're absolutely right. Now, this week, Coach, with playing against Grayson, are there any keys that stick out uh, with their offense being uh, ranked number three and defense being ranked number one? Are there any keys that stick out in your mind for you guys having success this week? Well, I think it's kind of the same formula that, that they follow, and that is that they want to they want to try to control the football and and uh, you know play keep away. 
they want to they want to have opportunities on offense, and then you know obviously they're a good defensive team, so um, they want to they want to drive the ball and use the clock, and that's a formula that we've used around here for 25 years or so. Sure. You know, <laughs> um, the best way to the best way to play great defense is to keep their offense standing over there watching the game. So. Uh, yes, you know, I think they kind of approach it the same way, and, and uh, you know, obviously, the last two years that we've played them, special teams uh, have played a big part in the game. And, uh, you know, I think that I think that'll in a game like this, most of the time it comes down to to three or four plays in the game, a mistake here or a miscue there, and sure. and uh, I'm, I'm sure that that'll probably be the case this time as well. All right. Well, Coach, uh, we wish you best wishes this week. Um, we thank you for taking our time to speak with Prep Star Stats. And once again, best wishes and continue doing a great job here at Brookwood. I'm sure they appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir.